We had four businesses in Santa Barbara's Vunk Zone. Not only did they steal merchandise, they're stealing time. News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen joins us live from the Santa Barbara Police Headquarters. And Vicki, detectives have video they're looking at. That's exactly right, CJ. The burglaries occurred in a close vicinity, but police say it's too early to consider it a trend. Criminals forced their way into pack and post on Friday night. Will Mullen came into work the next day to check on some things when he noticed something wasn't right. So I'd left the night before, um, closed everything up like usual, and then when I came in that uh, Saturday morning, the door into the uh, into the warehouse had been was locked but not not latched, and it kind of looked like they had been sort of prying at the uh, at the roll-up door that we have for moving freight in and out. The thieves left the building with two boxes of costume jewelry, causing a setback for the business. Tens of hours already just going through police and you know, insurance claims and things like that. So it's a huge loss in, in time to us. It's a loss in money that we have to, to compensate them for everything. Nearby, three surf shops also became victims of burglaries. The criminals entered the beach house by breaking the windows by its back entrance. They took GoPro cameras and watches from the store. J7 surfboards also wasn't very lucky. Someone tried to break into a window at Channel Island surfboards, but the alarm system scared them away. Santa Barbara police are investigating the incidents. These types of crimes don't occur um, at a constant rate. They occur in clusters depending often on um, whether or not burglars that work a particular region are here in town or if our local uh, thieves are in or out of custody. So it's still too early for law enforcement to determine if the crimes are connected and if there's a trend going on. For uh, this month to date, uh, we've had uh, 12 commercial burglaries. Our typical average in recent years is 11 for a month, so we've already hit that monthly average. Sergeant Harwood says residential and vehicle burglaries haven't increased, but he recommends installing security cameras to help with future investigations. In Santa Barbara, Vicki Nguyen, News Channel 3. Okay.